fourth floor of the museum is, uh, is a challenge because there are no walls and it's a uh, space framed by two large bay windows that are offering such a you know amazing view of the landscape. The question is how to create a space to organize the looking of the artworks and the kind of separation of this looking, of this act of looking. Since I'm using a lot of paper in the work, use long strips of papers as walls to separate the artworks, but also to directly print the artworks onto uh, this paper. Create a division where you cannot see the whole space always, and you have to negotiate your path through these walls as a way of kind of choreographing the exhibition and choreographing the gaze, the act of looking. The blank page to me is a very interesting recurring form of uh, anxiety in a way because uh, it represents at once the kind of the potential for a lot of things to happen but it's also a void, an emptiness that needs or calls for a kind of answer. This page could have images on it, this space could have text on it, and this text can become a performance, this text can become an image, this image can become an object. So from the blank page, we have many different forms of transformations. For me, what is important is to say that we can never finish a work and this work can take many different forms and that we will be surprised in the ways that we interpret or uh, read these works depending on our moods, depending on how we feel, depending on our experiences each time these works or this text may have a different impact on us. Qui parle? Au nom de qui? So that's what I'm interested in thinking about, is these ways that we're approaching uh, artworks and that each time we approach them differently. So to position an image in a different context or in the context of this exhibition, for example, is expecting that there will be new readings of it. Mm -hmm.